Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showcasing you guys the new at initiator target selector. So if you haven't seen my recent video, I talked about how, um, like the new slash dialogue command and how this stuff is very useful, how you can open up GUIs and everything. Um, if you saw my recent video, I showcased this a little bit. Uh, if I go to game mode S, like how this works, I didn't showcase you guys much how it works. I'll be making a new video. Um, I'll be making an add-on for this so you guys can just download it um, and then you can customize it however you guys want uh, Custom text and everything. So it's just an item Opens up an NPC So I'll show I'll showcase you guys that uh, later But for right now we have that initiator at S at P and at A We also have two more ones. I think uh, Execute so yeah, we have at A at E at P at R and at S. So yeah, uh, at R is random player, um, at A is all players, at E is all entities, and at S is yourself. So what this new one does, this one selects the initiator. So whoever is in the GUI. So that's going to be me. So smell the curry, click the button. Well, so why can't we just do at S? Because shouldn't that be the person you're selecting? Well, no. So the add s is actually the entity it's using. So this command is being run on the entity. So that means the add s is this entity. So we can't use add s, and maybe we could use at p. No. So at p is well, it is. It's selecting me. It worked. But at p, so say if someone else is right here, it's going to select them first. So if I click the thing, if I click the guy. Um, but they say there's someone else right here. It will select it for them. We don't want that because that's not multiplayer friendly. So, um, and at A, this one you would never want to use because this is going to select every person on the server. We don't want that. So, add initiator is what we're going to be using. So, add initiator, we can do a lot of stuff with this because this is going to allow us to select the actual person who used the command. So, um, if we just do say initiator, uh, that's just going to do smell and carry, click the button. So if we go see how this works, it's very simple. It's just all it's doing is doing say add initiator, click the button. So we can do a lot of stuff with this. So instead of having to select add s or add p, we can do completely multiplayer friendly with this add initiator. So let's try um, tp at initiator. Oh. At initiator. Let's do TP initiator 090. So this can be maybe, maybe our spawn function. So uh, let's keep that the same. And that's just going to be. You guys don't actually have to go into game with S, but it just looks better, you know? So I can go say initiator, and boom, TP's me to old game with C. Yes! Okay. Uh, where my NPCs go? Right there over here. So that is just going to TP whoever clicked the button to this one. See, if we put that same command on here, um, actually show you guys what would happen. Not good. So if we put this on here, TP instead of initiator, we do add S, which I've told you guys this will not work. So if we do this, we're, oh, I didn't get TP'd. Yeah, because the actual NPC got TP'd. So... Make sure you guys are using add initiator, and I'm going to show you guys a few more cool things we can do with this. So, if you guys want to learn how to do this, just make sure to stay subscribed, and um, I'll be posting an add-on showcasing you guys exactly how that works. Uh, yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? Um, yeah, so, basically... Uh, make sure you stay subscribed. I'll show you guys exactly how that works. So, and at P and R. So let's do a custom thing with this. So, let's say we just want to um, open up that initiator over here. So, let's open slash dialog. Open at e name equals at initiator. So we're selecting 
the initiator name to so it's opening that entity to myself and now oh well we gotta do uh quotes around it there we go oh well it couldn't find that npc why not let's just name this guy um server gui okay so now uh server gui failed to find npc we talking about Apparently, doesn't want to find this guy. So, we can do uh, type equals npc. Uh, let's just do type equals npc radius of 4. So, that should open the npc. Yep. So, we actually don't want to ever have to do it that way. So, how we can do this, we can do tag at e type equals npc radius of 1. So, we'll add... Um, NPC, what's it called? We'll call, we'll call this server NPC. Make sure you only have one of these in your world. Um, yeah, so let's say we want our spawn to be right here. So we're going to set the log, I'm going to put like a log down so we know it's our spawn. And when we're walking on that log, so let's give myself a command block. Uh, let me turn command blocks on. Okay, let's turn command blocks on. So we got a command block. Let's do a command with slash execute at p. So this is at p because we want to select the nearest player, just one person. Well, I guess we could select all players, but target selector. So we're gonna need to execute at a um, dy equals ten. So dy is just selecting ten blocks up in the y direction. So that's just ten blocks up. So we're going to select dy. Let's execute that person. And we don't want it to not be standing. So let's make this uh, let's make this cobblestone just to be a little bit easier. So uh, we're going to then execute, I mean detect, if there is detect right below them. Uh, cobblestone. I think it's cobblestone. Give at us cobble. Yep, cobblestone. So it's cobblestone. We're going to detect it below them. Negative one. So that's just selecting all different types of cobblestone. Um, okay. And then we'll do slash say at p. So this is just going to be a really simple command. Just making sure it works. Yep. There we go. So now we're only selecting someone if they're in the y direction. So not if they're up here. They have to have that cobblestone right below them. Okay. So now. With this, we can now open. Let's open NPC with the tag type. Let's do type equals NPC. Tag equals server GUI. Oh, what do we tag that thing as? Uh, I oh know we tagged that server NPC. Yep, there you go. So if we put that right there. Select that. So add s. So now, instead of saying, we're gonna go with that. Okay. So now, what's this doing? It's detecting a person ten blocks up, detecting if they have cobblestone below them, and then it's gonna open up the NPC with the server GUI. So let's test it. Yep. And there we go. So if we click that button, it TP'd me to spawn. And I wasn't even—I didn't even click on that NPC. So that's how you guys can do just custom NPCs when you like walk on a block. It's very, very simple. So while we're using that initiator, because it's not going to be selecting the nearest person, because say there's someone else near next to this thing. We don't want that. And we're not going to select add s because we don't want to select that specific NPC. So that's basically it. Make sure you guys to stay subscribed for this new uh, GUI system. I'll be showcasing you guys that in the next video, hopefully with an add-on so you guys can easily download this customize it however you want and yeah peace out see y'all